sister, my question is in regards to the double-edged sword, which at some point we believed that it was the Bible, but through the teachings that the Holy Spirit has given, we have understood that it is the Holy Spirit. The book of the Lord, yes. I would like, sister, for you to clarify this, if it's possible. Thank you. Concerning the two-edged sword? Yes, sister. Well, the two-edged sword, it is the word of God. It is God's word. It could be a vision that God is speaking through in a vision. That's word of God. It could be that the Lord speaks in a dream. That is the word of God. The two-edged sword. The prophetic word, too. The word that God speaks through the gift of prophecy and through the prophets or the prophetesses, that is a two-edged sword. And also the revelation of God. The word, when God manifests himself and when God speaks through the mouth of his children, be it the preacher or a prophet or whoever it might be that God is speaking through, that is the word, the two-edged sword. Because it says that it moves people. It moves them. It transforms the heart. We sometimes, when a person comes for the first time and God speaks to them, the person leaves crying. They start to cry. They are touched because God has pierced their soul with that two-edged sword, which is the word of God. That word of God even in the teaching or with the preaching of his word, that too is a two-edged sword. For it pierces the soul. It pierces the feelings and the deepest parts of a human being. So it makes a person cry. It touches a person's heart. It converts them. This person converts to God many times. That is what the two-edged sword means. That it is the word of our God, that living word the manifestation of the Holy Spirit, the manifestation of a living God. That is the word or the two-edged sword. Very well. 